I'm having a chat with Chris of Smashing to Pieces. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks yeah? so much. So you hear a download? And the sun is shining in the UK. We have this like stereotypical picture of UK from Scandinavia and that's that it's always rain. Yeah. And the sun is shining in download. Our first festival in the UK ever for it's Smashing to Pieces. Yeah. We love it when it's sunny. So. Yeah. That's why I have the shades on. Absolutely. Now, uh, you've been busy releasing music this year. The yeah. most recent was an acoustic version of Six Feet Under. Tell yeah. us uh, a little bit about the track and why you did an acoustic version of it. <laughs> uh, first, first, uh, it's like we uh, we were contacted by some music um, songwriters, like important people in Sweden, which has uh, made a lot of uh, songs for Eurovision. Mm -hmm. And they were like... I think we have a song for you. And we were like, yeah, yeah, why not go to a session? And we did a session. I was like, wow, this is, this is, sounds really like a Smash song. So that was kind of cool. And they were like, do whatever you want with it. Uh, so take take it with you and do your own thing with it. And uh, it, um, yeah, and I was like, we're trying to make a story. And I was like coming out of a huge depression at the time, which I had was like uh, five years ago. I went through this super massive bad depression, and uh, yeah, I, the song is about me and how I felt during that time when I felt that I couldn't really um, reverse it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "This is how I'm going to feel forever." And uh, well. We did the song and it was kind of a breakup for me with that depression, like leaving it behind to try to focus on the future. That's the positive message we have with the song. So the song Six Feet Under is basically about me and my depression and how it felt yeah. during the worst time. And I think that's that kind of resonates with a lot of people because it's a big topic nowadays, mm -hmm. depression. And I am like everyone else. It's not any special thing about me I'm, I'm just a guy who has kind of tried to pursue my dreams for a long time and i made it and if i can do it everyone else can do it like yeah. going through depression everyone can do it as long as they're willing to do the hard work which it's you really need to work with yourself and yeah. try to face your ego and all that stuff so that's what the song is about and yeah yeah and uh the regarding the acoustic version yeah. um we were touring, or actually we had a band called uh, Citizen Soldier, which supported us during our first headline tour in the US and Canada, which we made now like a couple of months ago. And uh, there were super cool people. And uh, on a day off in California, <laughs> we were like, because we had recorded it with just me first. And we were like, oh, we're going to record, uh, we're going to release uh, um, an acoustic version of uh, Six Feet Under. And then someone came with a bright idea on taking Jake, which is the singer of Citizen Soldier, with us on the track. Mm -hmm. And we kind of recorded his vocals on a shitty motel room on a day off in, in the Californian mountains. And, and it turned out to be uh, this song. Yeah. So su super good song with a super good feature. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And uh, you've got a busy rest of the year because you've got a whole bunch of festivals and then you ride across Europe yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a good thing. Uh, we're just trying to... Uh, I'm just trying to be more present, I guess, because it's so much things happening mm. all the time. So you kinda, you, it's kind of hard to process everything that's happening f to you. And uh, I mean... This is our the time of my life, I think, and I need to really understand that I need to um, to um, um, enjoy the ride instead of talking about how much we are doing and kind of talking a, a little bit negative about mm -hmm. it because, as I said, it's my time. It's the time of my life, and I really need to start talking positive about this. Because I'm gonna look back in the, you know, in the mirror, in the, in the, how do you say, like, we're driving a car. How do yep. you say? Yeah. 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 Mirror. Look back and like, Rearview why weren't I more positive? <clears throat> like, mm -hmm. So I, d I don't want to, I don't want to think about that when I'm getting older that I didn't enjoy the ride. Yeah. So, but it's a lot of things happening, and uh, yeah, we're gonna tour 
like the whole year <laughs> so it's uh and we have been touring for seven months already so we're kind of we're kind of tired but you know as i said it's the time of our lives yep. so we need to enjoy yeah most definitely yeah now when it comes to writing yeah. how do tracks normally start off is it a lyric first is it a melody a riff how do how do tracks start i think that because i'm i'm not a songwriter i'm more this like um producer guy that tells my opinion about stuff mm -hmm. uh, because Banjo and Perry is the main songwriters and there are totally different songwriters like it's not even one thing that's similar <laughs> between them yeah. so for example Banjo he writes songs all the fucking time it doesn't matter if it's on the toilet on the airplane or do you, you know he can just walk around with his guitar you know, like yesterday on the airport he was sitting there with his guitar, like, just jamming and singing loud, and people, like, looking at him, like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so he's, like, uh, he, he just writes and writes and writes. He has so much ideas going on. And Perry's more, like, he has, like, which I believe it, this is how I, this is how he has explained it to me. I think I kind of understood it right, but he usually thinks about something and he writes music in his head and he goes to his computer and like sitting and doing the melodies and like he's a really structured guy also mm -hmm. so he's like he wants to have a project he needs to uh, like he's like a surgeon more than Banjo. Banjo is more like a typical you know artist mm -hmm. you know like he's just like he needs to have someone that takes his idea and record them for him you know so they're totally different people and he works uh, Perry's more like working on one song or maybe two songs at the s at, s at the time at the same time. Meanwhile, per Banjo is doing like 200 songs a day. It's, it's like, yeah. So, and then uh, we try to to take the best songs out of these two amazing songwriters. And I am more the guy who thinks. I I, I have a lot of thoughts on things when I hear the songs, and yeah. So that's my, I guess. Um, uh, like contribution to this. Yeah. So you you make changes, make suggestions, and I, I can th say what I think yeah. about their stuff. You Are know, they happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. sometimes like I can be a little harsh, mm -hmm. but it's just like tough love, I guess. And it's better if I do it instead of them as songwriters yeah. are saying that to each other. I think I'm the, like the guy in between that. I think that's a good. <laughs> I think that's a good way for us. You got the fan and the listeners. Exactly yeah. that. Exactly that. That was exactly the words from our producer that we have, yeah. who is Dino Metahotsik. So he he's saying that a lot. That I'm more like a fan when I'm listening to their because usually they they serve serve me with ideas. And yeah. I'm the, I'm the guy who has actually hear them, like in a different way. So yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Well, Chris, been a pleasure having a chat with you. Thank you so much. And uh, the sun is shining here at Download Festival, and we're going to bring the Scandinavian sound today. Awesome. Thanks yeah. so much. Thank you.